Hello everybody, this is Danny with Cakewalk Tips. I had a question about converting MIDI data on a MIDI track to audio data that you can export as an audio file. So that's what we're going to do today. First of all, I've got a piano track set up in this session. Okay, so we're going to take this MIDI data here and turn it into audio. Now the first thing we need to do is to click this freeze button on the track that you can see here. And freeze just means to bounce it to a track. So if you look down here, we now have an audio file of that MIDI data that is on that track. And one more thing about this is you have to be using a virtual synthesizer in which I am using the True Pianos uh, that comes with Cakewalk to play this. So it's using the uh, samples from the piano to turn into audio. If you're using an external MIDI instrument, it won't work. You have to use an, a virtual instrument, which can be anything. Well, here is the audio file one more time. We're going to take that and go export audio to piano track. And I have stereo, sample rate 44 100, 16 bit, what you hear. That way you'll be bouncing down what you hear. So I'm hitting export. Here again, you see progress wheel going on up there. And now, to hear what we've done, I'll just add an audio track down here at the bottom. And I'll. I will pull that solo off of that, but I'll solo this so you don't hear all these other tracks. And now I'm going to go to import audio. And this is the folder that I put it in here. Here's the piano track. I'm going to open it up, I think. And there we put it right there on this new track that I made. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you can do that with any virtual synthesizer or drums or whatever. You can, uh, all you have to do is take the MIDI, MIDI data and click this freeze button and it will freeze onto its uh, corresponding audio track. Then you make sure you're soloed so you don't get any of these other tracks. But you hit the solo button, highlight the track you're going to export, go up to export audio, find the place you want to put it. And that'll get it. This is Danny J, and this has been your Cakewalk Sonar Tip of the Day. For more videos like this, go to cakewalktips.com, and we'll see you next video.